Hi there, welcome to this video where I'm going to do some advanced cloning. So in today's video what I do is I took a photograph in Malfi where the cathedral steps were covered with tourists and I spent about an hour cloning out all of the people on the steps so it was completely empty and so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to talk you through some of the techniques to make sure that your cloning is really undetectable and I know I'm going to help you to enjoy your photography. When you're on a holiday, quite often you'll end up with photographs that look like this one that are just full of tourists. Now, you may want to show how busy it is, and that's fine in that case, but what I did was I spent about an hour and I cloned out all of the people to turn this shot into this one. Now, you may consider that that's not worth the effort it took. And in fairness, I did do it more as an exercise and something that I could use for this video. Um, but it is a very useful technique to know how to do because it's very easy to clone badly and leave a really strong indication that something's been cloned out. Now hopefully when you look at this image here it shouldn't be really obvious that there were all of those people in the beginning. So what I'm going to do is show you some of the techniques. So the first thing that I'm going to do before I start is I'm just going to duplicate the layer because I'm going to do a lot of work and then we can flick between the two and we can see the difference and it's easy to duplicate the layer by just dragging the background layer over the new layer icon and then we've got a copy. So we're going to do all of the cloning work on the copy rather than the background. So let's first of all remove this um, man here at the top of the stairs. So we're going to zoom into him. Um, now this was taken on my compact camera, um, so it's not the sharpest of images, but it's still fine for um, when before it's zoomed in. So what we need to do when we use the clone tool, which is over here in the toolbar, is there's a technique where you've got to sample a very similar um, background and do it in a way to try and not create any obvious repeating patterns. Um, and so what I can do is make the brush a little bit smaller. Now, uh, this picture behind him appears to be a group of people, so I can use that to remove his legs. What we need to do is hold down the Alt key if you're on Windows or the Option key if you're on Mac, and you can see that the cursor changes to more of a crosshair type. Now this is going to be our sampling point. So I'm going to sample right at the very, very top of this step. Now it's important to use a very identifiable area something straight because then it's easy to align when you clone. So once I've clicked on that area, I've selected my cloning point and I can now what is in the circle is copying from where I selected the cloning point from. So if I move that um, so it's in line with the top of the step by his legs, then I can paint out his legs. So basically what I'm doing is I'm painting where the cross is into where the circle is. And you can see that he starts to dis disappear. And now all of this, because it's so small, if I zoom back out, you barely can tell that that's repeated and it's not um, too noticeable. Um, so we can get away with that. So if there are repeating patterns, behind him is this bar um, and so we can use that to um, paint out. And if I make the circle a little bit smaller, I can then use that bar of color there to paint out behind the, the man. And then he completely disappears almost. Now we've got a few extra areas that we just need to sort out. We can sort out his elbow there. Um, we've got this corner here which is going to be slightly more difficult but I can use the top here of this stone pillar 
and get as much of this as I can. So I get that straight edge to remove the part of his bag that we don't want. And then I'll use the top here to get that as well. There we go. And we've just got the tiniest bit left over. So if I select something that's a similar color to and then make the brush a lot smaller, we can just tidy that corner up and make it quite sharp again. So we've still got a little bit of him left. Um, I can use possibly this bit here, make that a little bit bigger and we'll just paint that out. And there he is. He is now pretty much disappeared. And when we zoom out, you can never tell he was there. Um, if we just turn that layer on and off, you can see that he disappears without a trace. And really, all that's left then is to do exactly the same thing with everybody else um, in the, the image. Now, here, this is quite a difficult person because she's walking down the steps. Um, and so I will just remove her um, because it's slightly more tricky. We need to get the line of steps looking correct. So sample from the step at the same height, then you get the same width. So we can move, remove her feet quite easily. So if I sample from here, let's get rid of that shadow first of all and her feet. So that's quite easy. Now you can sometimes just go all the way up and it will st still work. Sometimes it doesn't always work. Um, they start to go out of line, but they weren't far off there. And then if you take um, steps from further down, you can use the ends of those, but you do have to be careful, certainly with these steps, that as they get higher up, they get closer together. So you can't just do the same clone that we just did otherwise the line of the steps will start to go out from each other so what let's go in a little bit tighter and i'm going to use the corner here make that a little bit smaller to replace the corner of that and so it's one corner at a time to just start to get those steps going back up again um, so there's going to be about the next one. Now you could draw yourself a line as well. I think I might have done this when I did it originally, just to make sure that the, um, the, the steps stayed in the correct line. But you can do it by eye just at the moment. Um, so the next one is going to be somewhere about there. There we go. Now, because I did a little bit of cloning, that's why the steps don't appear to be in a line. Um, let's just do another one up there, there we go. and a little bit more just there. there. We've got a little bit of her bag just there, so let's remove that there we go. and the top of the step. So there we are. You can see that that's removed. If we go back out, all of that woman's foot. Um, and feet and legs and it's done convincingly then we just select the top of this um, balustrade railing here and we'll remove that part of her and so by choosing the right area um, and not using exactly the same point all the time it's really possible to do a good clone and there we go let's remove her hat as well so I've cleaned up this area now at the top of the steps and I'm happy with that. I've just gone back and done a little bit more work there. Um, and so a lot of the techniques that I've just used can be applied to all of the rest of this image. I'm not gonna go through every single person and show you how I clone them out, but I am gonna focus on this lady just here at the front of the image because there is a slightly different technique that I wanna cover just down here because we've got a problem where we've not got a lot of areas that we can clone from and she is over the top of one of the lines in the paving stones so we're going to have to try and sort that out now i can quickly clone out the bottom half of this lady um, 
um, her torso um, because there's lots of area just here on the right of these steps. And so if I make the cloning tool a little bit bigger, I can very quickly um, just use the top of this step here to remove um, this lady. Um, so I'll go ahead and do the bottom half of this lady and come back to you in a second. The bottom half of the lady is now removed, um, but I just want to point out a few repetitions that have happened um, just to be aware of. Um, if you look just here and just here, quite close to um, each other, there are two of the same marks on the paving stones where they've just been cloned and you can see at the bottom of here, that might become obvious. So if you sample a plain area, you can just remove anything that is obviously repeated. And that's a good thing just to keep an eye out for. So the head of this lady is going to be more difficult to remove because I've got to really think about the perspective of these paving stones. I'll give you an example about what I mean. If I clone from the wrong place over here, um, then we get lines going in completely the wrong direction and then it's really really obvious that I've done a bad cloning job so let's undo that and get rid of that so what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to clone in some areas of from here and from here behind the lady making sure that I keep the horizontal parts of the paving stones in line with each other so if I sample from here and go in there and do a little bit there. I have just got that little bit of repetition there so I can use that to get rid of that. That's okay. Now, because I've got this here, I can continue this line with this plain bit. I'm gonna come down to the other side just to finish this off and join that back up again. Again, I'm really just keeping an eye out for repetitions. That little bit of white spot there did seem to repeat, so I'm gonna remove it with this blank spot just here. So I'm gonna continue this process, just sampling from blank spots over on either side, making sure I try and keep the um, horizontal parts of the paving stones in line. So I'll continue to do that and remove all of the lady's head. And then what I'll do is I'll come back um, in a while and just talk about the base of the steps because they're fairly tricky. The problem we've got with the base of the steps now is there's very little clean area that we can clone from. There's a little bit over here on the left. There's a bit here. Um, there's a bit here and there's a bit on the far right. So to remove this without any obvious repetitions, I'm going to have to use bits from all of those four areas to make sure that I don't create any obvious repetitions. And if I start by cloning from over on this right hand side, um, then it should be less obvious because you won't obviously look from here to here to see the repetition. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to use this very clean bit just here to just definitely um, make sure that it's not obviously repeated. Now I've just picked up a little bit of that shadow, which I don't want. Um, I could perhaps go back in here and use a little bit of this um, next, make sure it's in line. Right, so I probably need to line up the shadow of the step, actually. Let's go back and sample the, the shadow rather than the base that I was doing before. And let's go back to here. Um, and let's use the, the bottom of the shadow. And then that will fit a lot better. That's, that's okay there. Then I'll try a little bit from here. Um, again, let's get the, the bottom of the shadow so that lines up. Um, and then just go down and we have got this very similar pattern just here so let's just sample somewhere else to remove that now you only need to just do one click and that removes that really obvious repeating pattern there we go I've spent a little bit of time just trying to get that the best I possibly can um, it's not perfect but um, you can see now that the lady has disappeared.
and we've got a fairly convincing um, clone because when you zoom out, it's not something that you would obviously notice. Now, just to finish this off and to make sure it's um, really seamless, we are missing one of the lines in the paving stones. So what we're gonna do is on a new layer, I'm going to copy um, some of that. So I'm gonna just do a clone from here and I'm gonna put it where I want it, which is gonna be about there. And I'm going to go down that line of the paving stones until I hit the shadow and that's on a new layer. So because it's on a new layer, what I can do is hit control and T to bring up the transform tools. And then I can spin that to put it in the correct orientation. So it matches the perspective that it should have if that's where it belonged. Now, when I apply that just by hitting return, I'm going to put a layer mask on that so I can just remove the unwanted bits. So I'm gonna paint with black in the areas that I don't actually want. And I'm gonna go down the side as well because what I have done is I've picked up a little bit of the paving stones that were either side of that line that just have a little bit of horizontal um, perspective as well. So that just kind of looks a bit uh, wrong. So we're just going to change it up a bit and just as a final touch what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reduce the opacity of that layer just so it's not quite as dark as this where I sampled it from and it matches more with the one next to it because the shadow isn't being cast quite as much on it so when I zoom out hopefully that should be almost seamless if this is something that you would be interested in challenging yourself to do, it is possible to turn this photograph here into this photograph here. Now, some people will be saying that they just can't be bothered with all of that effort. And I totally accept that because it is very painstaking and it does require quite a bit of time to do it. But for me, I think the end result is quite satisfying. So I hope you enjoyed that video, but clearly I didn't go through the entire process of taking out all of the people that were on the steps. That would have just taken far too long and it wouldn't have made for a very interesting video. But if you do have any questions at all about my process that I didn't mention in this video, do let me know down below in the comments. So if you have enjoyed this video, do let me know down below in the comments or nip over to my Instagram account. That's at the Oakton Photography. Leave me your comments there and you can also see lots of my photographs. Now, if you like what I do on the channel and want to help support me to make future content like this, you can also visit my Teespring store. There I've got a range of merchandise on offer. So go and check that out because it really does help the channel. And don't forget the super thanks button as well. But you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking the like, subscribe, and the bell notifications because that really helps me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content watch out for next week's video that goes live on sunday in the meantime go and check out this video just up here but all that's left now is to say stay safe and i'll see you soon